Hey everybody, uh, this is Amit Shaker with Redline Auto Show. I know it's been a while and uh, I uh, forever keep thinking about this uh, Redline Auto Show and the close to 3,000 subscribers that I have and um, uh, wanting to get back to uh, starting to make those videos. So, uh, you know, uh, I, I didn't know what to do because I'm not in the car business anymore and uh, you know the reason i didn't make videos back then was because i got busy with work the covid happened and then i went out on this journey for the last two years that has changed my life and uh, uh, i want to uh, introduce that partner that was with me through this journey so this is uh, a 2022 uh, mercedes sprinter Pleasure Way Recon 4x4. I know it's, it's a lot of work, but anyways, it's a uh, it's built by uh, Pleasure Way. It's a it's a kind of a adventure van they call them now, and uh, it is based on on uh, uh, a 2022 Mercedes Sprinter 2500 diesel 4x4. It's the three liter diesel with the seven speed transmission. Uh, so, anyways, I I, I have close to. Uh, about 50,000 miles right now on this one uh, crisscross the country a lot uh, love it love it uh, it's it's one of the best things I, I, I mean I've done a lot of off-roading with it been to places that I could have never been to woke up at some amazing amazing places I'll, I'll share some pictures but yeah uh, I have about 51,909 miles on so uh, that's a lot of miles uh, since I've had it. Uh, not many issues, uh, honestly, mm, just regular oil changes. Uh, it does have an inherent problem with uh, uh, the regen uh, stuff. It, it's kind of known, I don't want to get into it, but if you're a Sprinter van diesel owner, you probably know, or if you're gonna get one, you will know, so. It does have uh, the adaptive cruise control along with uh, the regular cruise control, uh, you know, voice controls, it's got this fancy uh, touchscreen, the MBUX. Uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic infotainment system uh, uh, with all the, all the features that come in, so I'm very happy with with what it has to offer in terms of uh, you know uh, the luxury and safety features, the app, especially the navigation, is fantastic. Actually, uh, uh, very intuitive. It works off of Google. Uh, seems like, uh, especially if you're going uh, across the country and you know navigating on this map seems to be much easier than uh, navigating on uh, uh, on Google. Uh, maps. Anyways, this is uh, both the seats are heated, memory uh, on both seats. The memory is uh, really convenient. I'll show you why. So, uh, the memory seats are really helpful because, uh, you know, both the driver and passenger seats are swivel. So, I've set it where uh, uh, for three as to where I can recline it or, uh, you know, move it forward. And then I just press two and it goes back to the position when I wanted. So uh, the seats, uh, kind of uh, leather I guess, but pretty durable. Uh, this comes in really handy, especially on the long drives. Uh, both seats have uh, these handles. Uh, I think the first thing I bought after I bought the van was this speaker. Uh, it's a JBL party box. Love it. Had a lot of fun with it. Uh, other than that, mostly what you see here came with the van uh, as I bought it. Uh, comes with the the fridge freezer. Uh, no complaints. No complaints. Uh, honestly, love it. Uh, it's a pretty small kind of a toilet and shower uh, unit. Uh, well, uh, the van did come with a, a little uh, induction cooktop. R4. Uh, it fell and broke, so. Um, it still works, uh, it's just not uh, proper. So we got we got uh, Instapart for somebody who, 
who's into Instapots and camping, it works. Uh, the, rest, the rest of it is pretty standard. Uh, uh, this is all built by Pleasureway. Uh, this is the complete control panel on which we can control everything, which um, works fantastic. Uh, we I've had issues uh, which I don't dwell into. I just turn it off and turn it back on and it seems to fix itself. So that's been my experience with... Uh, it, it has happened like, you know, some things have tripped and stuff like that, but I just turn it off and turn it on and it seems to work fine. Uh, these fans are fantastic. Uh, I think everybody knows about them in the RV world, but I don't have air conditioning, which makes this completely off-grid, so uh, I don't need any hookups. I, I, I barely, I never have to actually plug in or except empty the toilet and uh, fill up with water. So that's the van. Uh, coming back here, uh, this is the space that we have, me and Jax and uh, uh, Jenny who travels with me, uh, my partner. Uh, so this is our luggage space. Uh, we do have two, uh, two scooters that we carry along which is very useful uh, when we park. But uh, yeah, this is, the space is pretty limited but yeah, we spent a lot of time in, in this van.